Okairi. I'm Navi. And today we're going to be looking at some Am I the Asshole? Where OP fails to understand why women don't like being treated like Pokemon. This was given to us by, <laughs> by a tiny pastel unicorn. <laughs> so, freshman year of college, I began working on this project casually. I like to keep notes on women I talk to about their favorite things. Activities they enjoy, gifts candies they like, sappy shit like that. I suck at remembering things like that, so I decided to keep a spreadsheet. Eventually, after getting a handful of entries, I offhandedly mentioned it to my friend group. One had the idea that I share it with them so we could all keep new entries as they caught different entries. So this expanded further. Right now about 40 guys have access to it and it's mainly the guys in my frat. And the women featured are girls from different sororities. We also added more information such as like where you should take them, if you really want to impress them. We don't keep the information for any nefarious or scumbaggy reasons. Sure, OP. It's just to help us know what to do if we want to impress certain girls. Like, the original idea of it was just to keep information like favorite colors so I don't ever forget their favorite colors and now it's helping a lot of guys. Somehow, a girl who was on the list found out and she was pissed to fuck off. She was eventually able to trace it back to me, so I assume someone who was simping for her snitched when the Pokédex wasn't making the girl like him. So she's pissed off and she made it out to be a guide to hooking up with women, when it's most definitely not that. It's just to make impressing them on dates easier, that's it. She made a big deal out of telling so many girls around campus, and now they're all saying by the start of the fall, none of them will be visiting our fraternity or going to our parties. Tragic. Now all the guys are mad at me when I'm not even the one who told the girls about the list, and they were also using it. I also think it's unfair to say the list was about sex when it wasn't at all. Am I the asshole? Edit, I'm not a stalker. There was no information in it that could have been used to hurt anyone, only to have a better date. And it's not about sex. It was never used for just sex. Ah, uh, OP. The more you say it wasn't about sex, the more obvious it is that it was very much about sex. And even if it wasn't, which it obviously is, it's still pretty freaking creepy. But hey, before we make our final judgment, let's take a look at what the comments had to say. The first comment reads, You're the asshole, but mainly for thinking everyone is too stupid to seal the real intention behind the list. There isn't a person on here who believes this list isn't for sexual or nefarious reasons. A response followed that that reads, If they wanted more than sex, they would have made the effort to learn about the girls like a normal, non-stalkery person. Also, I bet the guy who spilled the beans did it because she noticed he knew way too much about her. Because girls aren't stupid, we tend to notice when guys know things that they shouldn't. Another user chimed in with, What? A dude knows all my hobbies, likes, and the places I like to go and we barely talked? Oh my gosh, what a genius he is. My dumb female brain could never figure out how he does that. The next top comment says, You're the asshole. You said it was created to help you remember stuff about the girls you were dating and it wasn't for nefarious reasons. But you also say that a guy probably gave up the fact that your Pokédex existed because the info wasn't getting her to like him. That sounds like manipulation and that is nefarious. Someone responded saying, Manipulation is the perfect way to describe this. They're making these girls think they actually took the time to plan something special for them. When reality, all they did was search their name on a spreadsheet in order to have a better date, aka get sex from them. Completely not okay, and I bet all of those girls feel violated from this whole thing, knowing there's random men out there who know all of this shit about them. And then someone comes in with my favorite response, it's Groundhog Day. 
Bill Murray learns everything he can about her character and pretends to be in it all so he can sleep with her. And rightfully, she thinks it's kind of weird and creepy. Because it is. That's a good movie, and it's also a good song. Highly recommend it. Another top comment says, Dude, it's creepy and gross. Of course, it's a hookup guide. Don't pretend it isn't. You're the asshole. All right, OP. I think the girls in your school should come up with their own Pokédex. And in it, they can keep track of which boys in your frat are creepy, like you, and which ones are actually decent. It's just to make sure that they have better dates. I mean, if you don't have a problem with your boys doing it, you must not have a problem with the girls doing it to you, right? Or does the idea of someone declaring you dateable or undateable without even knowing you bother you for some reason? Huh. Oh, but don't worry. It's definitely not about sex for them. In fact, it's about avoiding it. I don't know if you know this, OP, but people are not Pokemon. So the fact that you're referring to this information about these girls as a Pokédex shows how little respect you actually have for them as people. And that makes you an asshole. And honestly, if you want to dehumanize someone, you can do it to the algorithm, since she's not a human anyway. But you can feed her by liking, commenting, and subscribing. I really hope you guys have a good week. I love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, boo!